Gateway 97.8, it's drive time with Johnny. In the studio with me is Lady Sidra Naeem, the Deputy Lieutenant in Essex. Hello. Hello. How are you? Very well, thank you. And you? Yes, fine. And I haven't seen you since the Jubilee. What a, what a week and weekend that was. Yes, I think the, the Jubilee just completely knocked me out. It was so busy that week. Um, I have been doing lots of other things, but not events. But uh, this was actually the first event now after the Jubilee where I was invited. And you came to our party, Gateway's party. Oh, that was absolutely brilliant. Good really fun, that enjoyed it. it. Yes, great fun, great fun. Am I right in thinking that you turned down an invitation to Buckingham Palace to come to Gateway's party at the Langdon Community Centre? That is correct, because wow. it was easier to park <laughs> <laughs> and food, and I didn't have to stand up. No, you, you had the, the, the royal treatment with us. And yes. Where have you been today? So today I've been to Wat Tyler Park where a organisation called Sociability has got now a permanent base and it was their opening ceremony today. So lots of people there, lots, lots of celebration. Lots of people, there was lots and lots of people there. The weather was great, really sunny and they had food afterwards as well and a raffle which I won. Oh, what did you win? I actually won um, some chocolates. Oh, nice. Okay, <laughs> good. Um, and... Just tell me a little bit about what sociability does. What do they do there? Sociability is for adults who suffer from mental health and autism and, under dis and other disabilities. And they go there and there are so many activities for them. Outdoor activities, games, walking activities in the park, nature. Because all of those things help people, vulnerable people who have got mental health, depression, anxiety. And just being outdoors is just so good for everyone. It is. It's very therapeutic and it connects you with nature as well. And it's a well-known fact that uh, the colour green, did you know, helps. Does it? In soothing your mind. Is that really? Yes, that's right. Yes, that's the science of it all. Uh, it connects you with, with, with uh, nature and, and heaven. It makes you think of heaven, if you like, paradise and things oh, wow. like that. Yes. So I think since COVID, since the pandemic, people have realised even more the importance of going out and doing outdoor activities because it improves your immunity as well against diseases like COVID. I remember remember that time where you could like you could go and for, you can go out for a walk with someone and that was sort of all you could do at the time and so you would see friends, wouldn't you? You'd, you'd go for a walk. And now more and more of my friends that I used to do that with during COVID, we now do that, we still do that. You know, we still go yes. out and spend... We would have never done that before. Yes, it, it actually established a routine, the pandemic did, the lockdown, into going out more and going into parks. And all of a sudden there was um, a huge um, amount of interest in bikes at the time. There was a shortage, actually, of bikes yes. all of a sudden. Everybody was going out and get, getting bikes and things. So, yes, I think the trend is now outdoor sports and outdoor walking. And you know, you've, like you've made me think I'm buying a new bike. <laughs> I'm going to get one of those, you know, those fold-up ones? Yes. That you can sort of take on the train and you can, yes. I'm going to get one. And the electric ones are the latest yes. where you don't even have to hardly pedal. <laughs> Very easily, you just it sort of defeats across. the object, there, doesn't <laughs> it? It defeats. Um, you've got lots of events coming up, have you? I have got lots of events coming up. I've got the High Sheriff's Garden party next week, and I've also got a race course um, event as well next week on Friday. And do you, do you have to wear all different outfits to every event? Yes, definitely, I do. Yes, because everybody, sort of in the hierarchy, in the higher sort of levels of the hierarchy. MPs, mayors, they've all, they, they're all there at the same event. So if you wear one outfit, they've already seen it. It's a little bit like going to a wedding, a family wedding, where you can't wear the same again. So yes, um, I do tend to, I have to actually make a diary on what I've worn at what events really? so I don't repeat. Yes. So when was the last time you wore this? Um, this sort of pink and blue number? Yes, I wore this at a church service, actually, which was to do with the Platinum Jubilee. OK, so you can't wear it for a few weeks now, is that right? Well, uh, that was in Chelmsford, so I wore oh, it in Chelmsford. So this is now Basildon. <laughs> oh, gosh, OK. So you can wear it somewhere else in Essex, but a little while until you can wear it in Basildon again. Yes, but also it depends on who's going to be there. So mentally, in my mind, I work out who's going to likely to be there. But luckily, nobody from Chelmsford was there today. Oh, good. <laughs> so I was fine. Thank gosh for that. <laughs> just, just tell us, finally, a little bit about 
I, I know we, we obviously have you on the show quite often, but if someone's meeting you for the first time today, a little bit about what, what your role is. OK, so um, the Queen, Her Majesty the Queen, she doesn't have enough manpower to do all the roles that she needs to do around the whole country. So what she does is she allocates special people around the country to do some of those roles for her. So those roles would be things like opening up wings in hospitals, public buildings, cutting ribbons, making speeches, lighting the beacon. <laughs> like you did at the Jubilee. Yes, yes. and uh, cutting cakes and things like that. So, yeah, very, very nice, good, lovely roles. It's a privilege, actually, to have that role, and, and that is all from uh, really doing voluntary work uh, since a long, long time, over 20 years now since I've been doing voluntary work uh, within the community. Well, thank you, and it's very nice to see you. Thank you very much.